Since 1995, PSS has been presenting the Maggie Kuhn Award to an outstanding individual or organization that exemplifies the vision, spirit, and ideals of Maggie Kuhn. Born in Buffalo in 1905, Maggie Kuhn spent most of her childhood in Cleveland and later Memphis. After majoring in English at Case Western Reserve University, her interest in social activism soon became apparent. During the 1930s, Maggie worked for the YWCA, where she was often criticized for teaching women about women's issues and social justice. In the 1940s, she brought that same unconventional approach to her work for the USO. During the 1950s and 60s, Maggie Kuhn worked for the Presbyterian Church in New York City, where she encouraged seminary students to go out and work directly with those living in poverty. In 1970, Maggie, who was then living in Philadelphia, turned 65, and she found herself confronting the mandatory retirement law then in effect. She soon banded together with other retirees and, in that very same year, formed the Grey Panthers movement. Seeing all issues of injustice as inevitably linked, Maggie and her Grey Panthers refused to restrict themselves to just elder rights activism, but focused also on peace, politics, poverty, and civil liberties. Maggie and the Grey Panthers gave a voice not only to older adults, but to those who found themselves disengaged, marginalized, or forgotten. Over the years, the Grey Panthers movement grew, inspiring people across the country to join the good fight. In 1992, Maggie became an advisor and consultant to PSS. When she died in 1995 at the age of 89, PSS was granted approval by her estate to create the Maggie Kuhn Award. Since then, the Maggie Kuhn Award has been presented annually. While the names and faces of these worthy recipients changed every year, there remains one common denominator. Their leadership and impact on the community has been consistently of the highest caliber reflecting what this amazing woman, Maggie Kuhn, was all about. This year, we recognize Ashton Applewhite. Ashton Applewhite didn't set out to become a writer. She went into publishing because she loved to read and didn't have any better career ideas at the time. Her first serious book, Cutting Loose, Why Women Who End Their Marriages Do So Well, was published in 1997, with Miss Magazine calling it Rocket Fuel for Launching New Lives. That got Ashton invited to join the board of the Council on Contemporary Families, a group of distinguished family scholars. While at the American Museum of Natural History for 17 years, Ashton wrote about everything under the sun, leaving in 2017 to become a full-time activist. In her words, the catalyst for cutting loose was a puzzlement. Why was our notion of women's lives after divorce so different from the happy and energized reality? A similar question gave rise to this chair rocks. Why is our view of late life so grim when the reality is so different? Ashton began blogging about aging and ageism in 2007. She started speaking on the subject in July 2012, which is when she started the Yo! Is This Ageist blog. Since then, Ashton has been recognized by the New York Times, National Public Radio, The New Yorker, and the American Society on Aging as an expert on ageism and named a fellow by the Knight Foundation, the New York Times, Yale Law School, and the Royal Society for the Arts. Ashton has written for Harper's, The Guardian, and the New York Times, and speaks widely at venues that have ranged from universities to the Library of Congress and the United Nations. Ashton is a founder of the Old School Anti-Ageism Clearinghouse. Her book, This Chair Rocks, A Manifesto Against Ageism, was published in 2019 by Celadon Books. Throughout much of her life, Ashton Applewhite has displayed the same qualities exemplified by Maggie Kuhn. PSS salutes Ashton for her tireless efforts to advocate for the older members of our community, and we are proud to add her to the roster of honorees who champion the vision and ideals of Maggie Kuhn.